All right, the next two problems involve um, properties of logs and rewriting expressions. So we know that log base b of 2 equals x and log base b of 3 equals y. So what that's telling us is we want to rewrite this expression in terms of log base b of 2 and log base b of 3. So we start off with log base b of 8 over 27. Now because of the division, I can write this as two separate logs with subtraction. So log base b, excuse me, of 8 minus log base b of 27. So that's one property we're going to apply. The next is I can, both of these can be rewritten as powers. Log base b, I'm going to write 8 as 2 cubed, and I'm going to write 27 as 3 cubed. Properties of logs allow me to pull these exponents out front. So I'm going to have 2, excuse me, 3 log base b of 2 minus 3 log base b of 3. Now from what we were told earlier, log base b of 2 is x, log base b of 3 is y. So we end up with 3x minus 3y in terms of x and y. So answer b. The next one, which one of the following is not an equivalent way of writing ln of 1 over x, ln of 1 my, divided by xy, excuse me. Well, let's see. So first off, I can rewrite this as ln. I can write it as xy to the negative 1, because that's the same thing as 1 over xy. And I can pull the negative 1 out front. So that's negative ln of xy. So, A is OK. Now, I have multiplication inside there, so I have negative, and I'm going to, ln of x times y could be rewritten as ln of x plus ln of y. Product goes to addition of two separate logs. So, D is OK. Finally, I can distribute the negative through, so I have negative ln of x minus ln of y. So c is OK. The only one that is not OK, so, sorry, b is OK. The only one that's not OK is c, because that should be a negative there for this to be true.